Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel, and I'm a chiropractor here in Austin, Texas, and I'm the operator of Family Health Chiropractic, one of the largest family wellness clinics in Central Texas. Now, in this video, I'd like to share a few self-assessments or tests that you can do to help to differentiate between AC joint, acromioclavicular joint dysfunction, or shoulder impingement rotator cuff issues. Uh, there are four tests that we're going to be going through, uh, and I'm going to do my best to just describe this test and what it possibly means. Number one is known as the Hawkins self-assessment test. In this test, you're going to start by placing your hand on your shoulder, and then you're going to lift your elbow as high as possible. Now, if there's pain, then you could be experiencing some impingement or rotator cuff issues. So again, you're gonna place your hand across over onto the other shoulder. You're gonna lift your arm, your elbow up as high up as you can go. And if you start to experience pain here, this could be because of impingement. Number two is going to be the painful arc test. Now, in the painful arc test, the arm is going to be lifted straight out to the side. Uh, so basically, you're going to start with your arm just rested by your side. You're going to then move your arm straight out towards the side, and you're going to try to go up as vertical as you can go. And generally speaking, the low range, so we're talking about 45 to 110 degrees uh, of movement. If you start to experience pain at that level, then we're likely dealing with impingement or rotator cuff injuries. If, however, you're able to move your arm all the way up, you can go to a complete arc at the very top part of the range and you start to experience pain there. Well, that's likely due to AC joint dysfunction because again, that AC joint is squeezing uh, up at the top. Number three is the horizontal adduction test. So in this test, again, you're gonna start with your arm stretched out uh, from the side. You're gonna bring your arm across your body and if it causes pain as you bring your arm across, then again, that is compressing that AC joint and it's likely because of AC joint dysfunction. So if you feel pain here, then AC joint dysfunction is present because it's again, compressing the AC joint. And then number four is the AC joint distraction test. And for this test, you're gonna take your arm, you're gonna rest it behind your back and then using the other hand, you want to gently distract or pull the arm down. And if you feel pain when you do this, when you're pulling your arm down, then you likely have AC joint dysfunction. Because if it was due to impingement, you should actually have a lessening of the pain. The pain should go away because you're distracting from that impingement. Uh, so hopefully this helps. Again, these are four tests that you can do to try to self-assess whether or not you have a chromioclavicular joint dysfunction or if it's something else uh, related to the shoulder.